Here's my brief lesson plan of three top tips for online pedagogical teachers' well-being. You may be wondering what I'm referring to when I talk about pedagogies in teaching, learning and assessing. We're so often accustomed to using the word pedagogy, but it's really important for us to consider um, in relation to adult learning, andragogies, that there are different elements that we need to remember and to embed within our facilitation for adult learners. Whilst doing the Adobe Education Exchange online teaching masterclass, I realized that there were three elements of this that really struck me as a eureka moment, especially as I reflect back on the online teaching that I've been doing now for quite a number of years. I've put these three top tips into a lesson plan, which I'm aiming to share with you now as teachers, especially those of you working with adult learners the first Eureka moment I had, the, the, the top tip that I'd like to share with you from the Adobe Education Exchange course was to look after ourselves by taking appropriate time out. We need to factor in breaks. Uh, we need to be able to switch off our machines, stop answering emails and realise that tomorrow is another day. Uh, there are so many competing pressures on our time, but we have to factor in looking after ourselves. When we're performing in a class, whether that's on stage, in a big lecture hall or in small groups, it's so important that we engage with our students, help them to retain the message that we're conveying and no doubt we're all trying to entertain them at the same time. When this comes to e-learning, this is very, very different, especially when we're just talking to a camera and maybe not seeing what sort of response is coming back. But it's important for us to recharge our own batteries. And the third top tip, as one way of recharging our batteries, is to make sure we make time to catch up with our friends. So many of us um, at work would normally meet around the photocopier or the coffee machine or other places where we'd gather together. Now those opportunities during the various COVID-19 uh, lockdowns have been taken from us. So we need to factor in opportunities to catch up with others. The promise I'm having to make myself from the Eureka moments of these three top tips um, for online pedagogical learning is to be able to factor in a better work-life balance, especially when we're faced by the ever-mounting challenges of online demands and work requirements.